Hey, it's Justin Kabelka here from Jacobelka Reptiles bringing you the third installment of JKR Pro Tips. I appreciate the feedback I've been getting so far. You, know, you guys have been really enjoying it, and I'm glad, and I want to make sure that I answer the questions that you have, so be sure to comment below and let me know what you want to see and also what I can do to improve the videos, or if I got something wrong and mistake, let me know. All right, tonight we're going to be talking about um, ball python caging and all the different kind of aspects. I'm going to kind of touch on them all, give you the pros and cons, that way you can make the choices of what kind of caging might work best for your situation. And I'm going to end by talking about what I use, which is the ARS racks. The first kind of caging that everybody uses, that you know you probably used when you first got started, and I used, is an aquarium. You know, three sides, you know, four sides glass, and uh, maybe five sides glass, wouldn't it now? And the top would be a screen. And you know, you got, you got your clip lamp, you got your under tank heater, trying to keep that thing warm. And that is the big downside to aquariums is that they do not handle holding heat very well. You're going to lose a lot of heat through the glass because it's not very well insulated and you're also going to lose a lot of heat through the top unless you put up like a plastic sheet or plastic cover on it. That's the major drawback to an aquarium. The second drawback is that it doesn't give your animal any privacy, especially in the case of a ball python. They really appreciate their privacy. You know, in the wild they live underground in termite mounds and a lot of times in an aquarium situation, a ball python can get stressed out and stop eating for a while and give you issues with that. And they're hard to keep humidity in too, and they're very hard to clean. That's the number one reason why you don't see big breeders a lot of times with aquariums anymore is the amount of time it takes to clean those things is insane and they're very uh, difficult to handle. Plus you can't stack them because there are openings on top. So that's an aquarium for you. Pros, it shows off your animal. That's the only pro I can think of in an aquarium. It's, it's great for showing off your animal in your house or wherever you want to use it. The next kind of caging that you might consider is a is like a, a, a actual cage made by Vision or Boafile makes some nice cages that I've used. And these are typically um, a plastic, a solid plastic, and they have an opening in the front, either a sliding door or a drop down door in the front of the cage. This is actually a pretty good a pretty good setup, especially for the bigger snakes like boas and berms, stuff like that. What it does is it gives the snake quite a bit of privacy. They're, they're relatively large. Um, you can see them still on the front and you can stack them high and you put a lot in a small space. They're great for that. The downsides, again, they're hard to clean. You have that little door in the front, you gotta reach way back in some cases. Um, the other downsides, they're, they're relatively large. Um, they're not the best for a ball python or something that likes a small space. Now, as far as racks go, there's two different kinds, essentially, that you need to pay attention to. There's the closed air kind and then the open air kind. A closed air will be one that I've used a lot in the past. is a boafile rack, and they have their rhino racks. You might go check out the website, boafile.com. And their, their racks are essentially uh, thick plastic on the sides and the back top, and then they have the, the drawers, much like this, of tubs. The nice thing about those is that they do not have a whole lot of air circulation. In fact, they just have all, the only air circulation they'll have will be on the very edge of the tub all the way around, unless you want to drill some holes in the tub. And those work actually pretty well in a house or for a small hobbyist, somebody who doesn't want to heat an entire room, but still want to keep their snakes well regulated. The heat strips in the back of the of the boafile racks along the bellies of the tubs, they're going to heat that back of the tub to your hot spot and also heat the ambient of that tub to the range you want. So for ball python, that heat would be set to, say, 90 degrees in the, on, on the heat strip, 90 to 92. Um, so they have their hot spot, but that 90 degrees on the heat strip is also heating the rest of the tub up to 80. And because the closed air system, you're not losing that heat out of the tub. The, the other kind of rack is the open air, and that's what I use in here. Open air racks are, are great solutions, but they're more intended for a situation where you are heating it or cooling an entire room. You're humidifying our entire room because they don't hold air that well. They're not made to. And that's what I'm using. I'm using an ARS open air rack, and they have a lot of holes along the top here. They have a lot of airflow, and for that reason, I can just um, heat my room to the ambient temperature. It's 81 degrees in here right now. And, and then the heat in the room is just going to keep the tub, the front of the tub is the perfect temperature. And there is still FlexWatt 
heat along the backs of the tubs that will heat that hot spot up to the perfect place. So I'm using different size tubs. You see I'm, I've got a, a sub-adult tub, an adult tub, and I've already showed you guys some hashling tubs in the other videos. But the ARS works really well for me for the pro application here in the in the snake room. So thank you guys some some feedback and some stuff that you can think about as you're trying to decide how to keep your snake. An aquarium's great. You know, if, if you want to take care of your snake better, you might try you might go ahead and try the caging or try the racks and uh, check it out. Um, one more thing I want to show you guys, if you're looking through your cage and you're trying to figure it out, be sure to use this. These things are awesome. You can point at anything. See the top of this table is 82.1 degrees. And it gives you temperature exactly instantly. The nice thing is that you can just go in the back of your tub, hit the hot spot and see if it's right or not. Adjust immediately. You don't have to put there and come back an hour later to see what it is. Um, one thing I would suggest though is don't point this at the sun because it will explode. It just can't register that much heat. So. <laughs> No, I'm actually joking about that. So, you guys can point at the sun. It's not going to do anything. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, be sure to keep keep coming back and checking them out. My uh, cameraman's cracking up on me, so we are done.